Welcome back to Meshman Studio. My name is Peter Obstein and I create videos about Mori and Renderman. And today's node fundamentals here for Mori. I want to take a look at different ways to order and connect nodes and uh, yeah, all of that good stuff. So yeah, let's jump into it now. Okay, so here's a typical node graph here in the Mori. This is how kind of how I built it pre Mori material system. Let's take a look here. Let's take a look at a dirt mask here just to get a sense here. So we have a lot of nodes here connected. So yeah, so we have we have patterns, we have uh, different type of procedurals all uh, tied together and we can see here they are all housed here within some kind of container here and this is a backdrop. So what I do here I build when I build a, a mask I, I house it within a backdrop. Let's create a, a backdrop here. Let's create something here like uh, merge nodes, a, a few of those. Okay, there we go. So we have something there and we want to make something out of this. We select them all, hit tab and type the back drop and we get our backdrop. So this is a way to kind of visually group your nodes in uh, Mori. We can name it. So we select it, nodes and we can give it some kind of random color here like this and now we can shove this around place it we can place it like so, so for example so yeah it's it's an it's, it's a way to contain uh, nodes within uh, mori and order them another tip here that i use sometimes not that often but sometimes sticky notes sticky notes kind of like a post-it note in Mori. So let's see what type your note here. Uh, something you want to remember. Buy dog food. Maybe export textures. And so, so you can place it so you next time you come to your script here you can see okay okay I needed to buy dog food. Um, oh yeah I need to export my textures. Let's say that you want to give this script to someone else. It's good to have some uh, mental thoughts here what you were doing. Another thing that I've seen people uh, in other YouTube channels, they uh, they don't use this the, the default merge nodes here, so or the nodes type. So there's another way here to to have this kind of a uh, nuke style. I'm not a big fan of this. It, I I don't like this at all. But essentially, it's more like a top to bottom approach, and I personally I don't encourage anyone to use this. And I believe this one is gonna go away in the end. You see here, the the main thing about using these type of nodes, so shift S is to toggle between these two states, is you see here on the, the, the more modernized nodes here, we have uh, these plus signs. So let's see here. And that's a way to minimize and expand the nodes. And this is uh, crucial when it comes to material nodes down the line, because Material nodes can have multiple inputs and outputs and it's more geared towards a shading approach rather than a compositing approach and to be honest texturing is more about shading nowadays. Shift S is to go between those two nodes. I wouldn't recommend it and also if you by any chance want to work in this node by default this type of nodes. Let's go to edit preferences. Let's go to the node graph here and see what we have. So the default port display is port list. This one was the mode that was introduced later on, but you can go to the non port list vertical. I don't recommend this at all. So don't use that. Use the more modern approach because if we take a look here at a multi or a material, let's take this one. You can see here by default it's collapsed. But if I now uncollapse this, you can see here, this is essentially what material, what type of uh, connections you will have. I'm not sure what this one will look, or if it's, yeah, this is the mess you get if you uh, use that mode. I wouldn't recommend it. I'm not sure, even sure if the material system support these nodes, to be honest. So I already showed how we can collapse this using this the plus signs here and yeah there's also shortcuts for that so alt 1 2 3 and 4 is different shortcuts at least here in my system so let's go to shortcuts and go to node graph and here we can see switch to let's take description expanded mode it's alt 3 
switch to stream collapse mode, alt 4, connected only mode. So this is different shortcuts to cycle through different level of complexity when it comes to nodes. So this is going to be more evident when you start to work with material nodes down the line because you can have uh, different, you know, stream, connected streams and etc. So yeah, that's another tip here when it comes to interacting and ordering nodes here. Another thing here, let's say that you have this node here that you have named uh, something clever. Let's name it clever. And you want to go to this node, you know where it is, but let's say that we can take this window down here and scoot over somewhere like here. You want to go to this node that you named clever. So if you hit the J button, search, and start to type clever here, and then you're gonna jump instantly to that node that you named there. So that, that's another way to jump between nodes that you know the name of. If you hit, hit J and this is going to be a real extensive list here in my case because you see here merge 100 etc etc so yeah it's important to name nodes when uh, you gonna work with uh, a lot of stuff here in my case it's also using backdrops here to house let's go to my my dirt mask here for example we can see here in the in the bottom here i have a radio node that's blended by a merge so let's take a look here quickly what's it doing i'm using some uh, occlusion there i level it here i merge something up so this is just the wash here and we see here now i have started to do edges here so this is like a mini comp here that i housed here within a backdrop i know here this is my edges so let's take a look at how the edges is probably my histogram scan curvature so let's take a look here and i add that on top so i house different portions of my script within backdrops to be able to come back and more easily distinguish between certain features these uh, green nodes here that i have i know i usually when i have a paint within my uh, script here i make it green uh, so it's distinguished out there is i know that here is something i used to paint some masks then i can come back here i know that if i need to add the dirt for example i know that this green node here and you can just uh, take the background color here and uh, scoot it to whatever color you want. If you have another scheme here, in my case, uh, green is usually something that I paint. You see here, I have my rubber and I borrow something from there. That's the way that I organize. So everything is housed. This whole mask here, if I look at this, is housed within a backdrop and I have sub backdrops to distinguish certain features of my comp so this is the actual dirt mask for this asset in my homebrew material system i have a lot of nodes going into here multiple uh, nodes here and let's take a look at how we can hook this up this is something um, when you want to blend one mask so i have my mask coming in in the bottom they all go here to different merge nodes and let's say that you uh, want to swap something. Let's say that, um, let's, let's build that. Let's build something similar here. Okay, so we have, a, we have a stream here and let's say that we want to connect something to the mask here. So let's, let's connect just a paint node to the mask on all of these. So let's create this one and want to connect this to that one, this one and this one. So we have, have all of this and let's say that it's kind of, you know, we have a lot of them and so we, we need to order them down here somewhere. So I create a backdrop here just to visualize this. And we want to now reconnect this paint node to all of these above, but without having to go to individual, like go up here, go there. So you have something that you maybe share there and you also share it down here for some reason um, so let's take this mask and you want to connect reconnect to something else so what i either what i do there's a few options to do this when you want to take this node and swap for something else let's say that we have another paint node that we now want to replace with so what you can do either you can do this you can just hover here and go to just drag it onto one of these black lines and it's going to reconnect it 
So you can do that. Now it's gonna reconnect them one one at a time. So that's that's one way to do it. So let's take these two as well. But there's an even faster way to do this. So what you can do as well is just to hit the period sign. It's gonna insert a dot node. And see here now we have a dot node. So now the dot node is connected. So now we can yeah, swap this back. So let's create a cloud. Let's say that we have a mask that we wanna have a cloud that's masking something. We can now just swap this there and it's now gonna replace this connection there. So that's another way to more quickly reconnect a lot of uh, inputs to uh, that you share between different uh, merge nodes, etc. So that's one tip that I uh, usually use. Uh, the dot nodes is, is nice when you wanna, if you have a lot of shared uh, masks, you just insert a dot node and reconnect to the dot node. It's a bit similar to have substance that you can reverse drag. I wish we had that reverse dragging uh, uh, inputs, but yeah, hopefully that comes sometime. Okay, so I just created here a channel node to demonstrate here some of the shortcomings when it comes to using uh, channels and layers. And when you then dive into the node graph, you're gonna be, if you go to that channel node that I created my stuff here, I created some layers and stuff here and I grouped it, it's within a group node and you know, the regular layer approach here. When you're gonna go into a you know, graph and you wanna do something and you get greeted by this and it's like, oh my God, what's going on? But like, I just wanna go and do something else. So what you wanna do is to get the channel node here to uh, get some kind of order in this mess. So you can, if you remember, I hit the J button. If you uh, just go here, let's say that you or there and you want to find my stuff there so j my stuff you see now you instantly are with your channel node that you know you named my stuff and now you want to lay this out so what you do you select the channel node that's the top node of this chain and you hit the l button and it's gonna lay out your node graph so this is uh, one way to organize it, kind of an auto layout of your nodes. So yeah, that's uh, a tip here as well. Leave your comments below. I wanna see what you think about nodes in general. If you have any favorite nodes and as usual, if you wanna support my channel, consider subscribing and hit that bell notification so you don't miss when I do one of these tutorials. See you in the channel, bye bye.